Nerd, 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 nerdtabulous. Hey guys, I'm Tara. And I'm Alex, and this is Nerdtabulous. And today on Nerdtabulous, it's the first Friday of the month, which means it's our Retro Review Day! And today, on our Retro Review Day, we'll be reviewing the film Zorro the Gay Blade. And if you haven't seen this movie, just stop it and come back. Alrighty, so this film is about Zorro's two sons, one of which is a um, very manly man, um, and the other one is gay, and the, the very manly man one um, takes on the job of being Zorro for the people, and... Don't you mean for the pebbles? For the pebbles. For the pebbles. For the pebbles. And the first, basically the first time he goes out to be Zorro, he, like, breaks his foot, and he can't do zorro -y things anymore because he broke his foot. Why did that foot have to be a hero? So his brother, Bunny Wigglesworth, comes in and is Zorro for a month or whatever, and um, Bunny Wigglesworth isn't very good with a sword, so he has a whip, and um, he thought the costume was too plain, so... Um, he has, like, pink costumes with, like, tassels on the hat. <laughs> Where did he get those? I don't know. Was he just prepared? Sewing kit in, in the back. This has a sewing kit. And I love this film so much, but it came out in the early 80s when um, society wasn't as accepting to people being who they are as they are now. So this film didn't really get all the love it really, really deserves because it's such a good film and it's so funny. And George Hamilton does such an amazing job as both of the leads. I mean, he's he's both Diego the Manly Man and Bunny Wigglesworth. He could plays a good job being the guy you would see on the cover of Romance Book and yeah, the guy he, who he you would, would see on... Uh, yeah, something. Uh, on something. On something. Oh my gosh. You know, something is my favorite thing in the world. Guys, have you seen something? Oh my god, it's so amazing. <laughs> anyway, this film is so fantastic. I mean, it has such great acting in it. I mean, you just gotta think. Having to play both roles, ha having to film it like that must be, must have been really interesting to film that, you know? Well, back then they didn't have CGI where they can cheat it now. E exactly, exactly. So I'm just thinking, man, that must have been really interesting to film. I know they kind of filmed it like they must have had to film The Parent Trap, where they, I know there's something you can do with the camera where you can kind of split it and everything, but I'm just yeah. thinking that must have been really hard to film. I don't know, the fact that the, that the director just went there and he did not hold back. It's like, he nope. didn't do like, he didn't name the movie like, The Sons of Zorro, and it was like, this is a comedy. It's going to be a very groundbreaking comedy, and it's nope. going to turn out the guys, it's like, no, Zorro Game Blade. blade. Game Blade. Just One thing that annoys me, he never used a blade. Well, I mean, he used a whip, because that's what he that, was good at. That is a misleading title. I also title. love that when he would do the Zorro Z, it was like, in cursive. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, Man, how that's do you skill. do that with a whip? That's like, that's some serious skill there, Bunny Wigglesworth. <laughs> he has a lot of practice with his crewmates on the ship. All right, um, it's question time, and it's from Henry in North Dakota, and he says, what is your favorite scene of the film ever? Well, I already know what this is. It is in the middle of the movie when um, they're having the second mass ball. Yes. And... Esteban's friend Diego. I always think of Zack and Cody when it's like yes. Esteban. Esteban. It makes me think of the I thought about that too. I thought Zach about that too. But he, Esteban runs into Diego, who actually is Zorro. Zorro, and he's like, "Why are you dressed as Zorro?" I was like, "Oh, well, I was told to uh, show up and dress as Zorro." And then all his his dons show up. He's like, "Ah, you're Zorro. No, I'm not. Ah, you're Zorro. No, I'm not." And then the two best parts at the end, one in the middle, is like, "Ah, I know who you are." And then uh, when he runs down the final one, he's like, "Ah." This is a Zorro yeah. if I've ever seen one. He takes it up. This, this is not Zorro. This isn't Zorro. He just like, I love how he just looks back up and like, he just like, this is not Zorro. Something else I loved from that scene was Benny Wigglesworth being a girl. A girl. That was so interesting. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so my favorite part of the film is um, towards the very end of the film. Oh boy. Um, when Zorro is about to be executed for being Zorro. 
And um, for being too handsome. He was too handsome that, to live on Earth. Of course, that's exactly what happened. What? No, but he's being executed for being Zoro. So Bunny Wigglesworth just comes up in this shimmery gold outfit um, with the tassels on the hat and everything, and just shouts out. Two bits, four bits, six bits of peso. All for Zoro. Stand up and say so. Oh! That's my favorite part from the entire film. It was just so funny and fit perfectly for the scene. And the shimmery gold outfit was amazing. <laughs> it was it was interesting to say the least. I I loved it. But you know the one thing I didn't like about this film. No BD one. No BD one. No. I mean, you know, everything just needs B.D. Wong in it. It's such a crime to not have B.D. Wong in everything. We need, like, the Mulan version where Shen is actually... Shen? What is his name again? Shang. Shang. I'm Shen. sorry. I went for the most generic Asian name I had. The most generic Asian name you had? Shen. Mm-hmm. Alrighty then. I'm Shen. sorry. I, I shagged way... I, I shagged way... From one stereotype to the other. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. It's all for the pebbles. All for the pebbles. All for the pebbles. Now I'm going to ride my Segway into the, the ratings. <laughs> but, uh... Segways are awesome. Segways are awesome. You ever been a Segway? Yes. Okay, cool. Zoro on a Segway. <laughs> Bunny Wigglesworth on a Segway. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, for ratings, I give... I've been thinking about it, and I give the film a... 3.5 out of 5. She's going to kill me. I am. Uh, but that's because... You have a lovely funeral, though. I think the actor... I think George Hamilton did good. I think everyone did good. I thought... It was fantastic. I think everyone did really good. It's just that some of the jokes... I don't know whether it was the actors didn't deliver them right, or maybe they made some things that were meant to be jokes not... They didn't hit it right, but I just felt like some of them fell flat, and some of them... Some of them... That did honestly help me, though, later on, because some of the other jokes were like... They made the other jokes actually funnier for me. But, I mean, if it wasn't for the fact they had those good moments where it was like, oh, these are actually genuinely really funny, it would have probably been a 3 or a 2.5. But 3.5 out of 5 life points. Please call the police. She's going to kill me. He's completely crazy. This film is amazing. I love this film so much. I've seen it like 500 times. I have it on DVD. Uh, I give this film 5 out of 5 life, life points. I, it, it's so amazing. The acting, superb. Cinematography, superb. Costuming, oh my gosh, is amazing. I mean, everything about this film was fantastic. There is nothing wrong with this film. The humor, oh my god, the humor is so funny. I mean, it's just an amazing, amazing film. I give it... 5 out of 5 because I can't give it an over 9,000 like I want to. So I can only give it the highest score that we do. But I, I think it's amazing. You should definitely, definitely see it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned every week for more nerdy things. Nerd, 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 nerdtabulous. Nerd, 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 nerd